So we have a problem with a woman's biology. The quantity and quality of our eggs declines daily. And it all starts when we're a fetus in our mother's st stomach, in our, ut uh, in our uterus. We have, at that time, when we're a fetus, about 7 million eggs. But unfortunately, by the time a woman is born, the majority of those have died. So we're now born with about 1 to 2 million eggs at birth. And then by puberty, we've again lost a huge amount of them. We have only about half a million eggs left at puberty. And from puberty to the menopause, we lose about 25 to 30 eggs per day. So we only ovulate one, normally one viable egg per month. About 1,000 roughly die each month. And by the age of 37, 90% of a woman's eggs have gone. And at the menopause, we have no viable eggs left. We do have a few actual eggs left, but they are no longer viable. So over our lifetime, a woman will only ovulate about 500 eggs. In a man's single ejaculate, he has about 100 million sperm. <laughs> so we have the biggest gender inequality if we just look at our eggs and our sperm. So it's not, unfortunately, just about quantity. It's also about quality. And there are several reasons, but it's mainly to do with the chromosomes. And I'm not going into any technical genetics today. Just to say that the chromosomes in the eggs from puberty to the menopause become very confused. And this graph we can see here is a of standard graph that we talk about fertility decline fertility declining as a woman ages, this age at the bottom, and our chance of spontaneous miscarriage or spontaneous abortion will increase because of those chromosomes being very abnormal as, as a woman gets older and it results in miscarriage and other issues.